Welcome to May 10th. This is a Tuesday. I hope you're having a fine start to the day. It is a cool start to the day. Temperatures into the mid 30s. Many other places are around freezing, so that's why we have a frost or freeze warning in effect till about 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, we'll see in our four things you need to know that freeze warning that's in place until 8 a.m. Sunny but cool today. It's going to be a nice day. Showers late Thursday. Could be Thursday afternoon into Thursday night and then it's going to be a dry warmer weekend. Of course lots going on. Look at the next 12 hours. A fairly clear sky. Sunglasses at the ready. 42 as you head out about 9 o'clock. At 8 it'll be about 38 but again we could see and will see temperatures fall off to freezing or colder. 53 by one, few clouds, uh, more clouds coming in. Five o'clock, that'll be the heat of the day at 57 degrees. Western satellite and radar, yeah, it's been uh, a clearing event uh, as we have still some moisture into the mountains of North Idaho, but not here. So we'll continue to see this in between for today and tomorrow before we have that chance of showers for Thursday late afternoon. 24 hour forecast, again, a few clouds bumping around. We're gonna see increasing clouds for this afternoon and then we'll see it clear overnight. And that's gonna be sort of how it works. You can see just over by Pullman, the Palouse, they could see uh, some energy tomorrow morning, but it should stay out of our area. Today's highs are gonna be in the upper 50, still well below average. An average high this time of year, 66, almost 10 degrees below average. And that is going to be a trend for the next couple of days. 57 today, 59 tomorrow, 56 on Thursday. An extreme team reveal will be at Miller Park at Fairchild Air Force Base. We'll have more on that coming up. And then Friday, 53 degrees with cloud cover with showers Thursday afternoon, Thursday night. Friday should be dry. And then the weekend is looking pretty good. Get the First Alert uh, weather app. It'd be, for you, a good tool to have. Even if you travel, you can uh, dial it into wherever you are. Okay, not bad. I'm Mark Peterson in the 4 News Now newsroom here in Spokane. I hope you have a great day, and we'll continue to keep you updated.